Engines are the heart of the vehicles. Having multiple pistons and tons of various parts, they provide the cars with power. Today we will see the most complicated car engines ever made. Porsche Type 547 Porsche had won the Le Mans race with its 1.1-litre engine, but aiming to do bigger. They appointed Ernst Fuhrmann, who designed a four-camshaft race engine with a complex setup of bevel gears and shafts. It took the skilled workers 120 hours to assemble a complete engine, the timing itself needed about 8 hours, and sometimes 15 hours in case the tolerance wasn't proper. Oldsmobile Turbo Rocket There was a problem with 5 psi of pressure under use of the throttle pedal. Oldsmobile solved it by developing a water injection system that sprays 50% of methyl alcohol and 50% of distilled water mixture into the intake manifold. They also sold bottles of it, and it goes for some 250 miles. Saab Variable Compression In the 2000s, Saab tried to reach the perfect variable compression engine. They made a cylinder head integrated with the engine block. The head had mechanical arms, and it tilted on the hinge by up to 4 degrees. This was a five-cylinder lump with a twin-screw supercharger, and produced 150 horsepower per litre of displacement. It was so complicated that it never went into production. Lancherabath Triflux It was developed in 1998, producing 600 horsepower out of a 1.8-litre engine with two turbochargers. There were intake and exhaust valves on each side, for turbos to be fed by separate manifolds. Cadillac V8 V6 and V4 the Cadillac V8 V6 and V4 systems were designed for the Compute Command module to shut two or four cylinders. It depends on engine speed, idle speed, intake manifold pressure, coolant temperature, air pump, and exhaust. Volkswagen W8 The W8 engines were installed in the Passat models between 2001 and 2004. There are two 15-degree VR4 style engine blocks, mounted at a 72-degree angle, facing each other, and coupled on a single crankshaft. It was in a perfect square shape, and fit in any V6 engine space. H16 BRM The development started as a 48-valve V12, and ended as a 16-cylinder engine in H configuration.
They took two V8 engines and mounted them in H shape. It had more than 400 horsepower at 10,000 RPM. However, it faced a center of gravity issue and needed separate exhaust systems. Cizetta V16 Claudio Zampoli and Giorgio Moroda decided to develop a 16-cylinder engine. They took two flat-plane V8 engines and fabricated them on a single aluminum block cast by Modena, Italy. Bugatti W16 It looks like different Volkswagen engines are fabricated together. The engine has 64 valve, quad turbocharged, and two banks of eight cylinders, set to 90 degrees. The firing order is 1, 14, 9, 4, 7, 12, 15, 6, 13, 8, 3, 16, 11, 2, 5, 10. Adams Farwell Radial Rotary. There is a four-stroke piston engine with three cylinders that rotate around a fixed crankshaft. It was a 20-horsepower engine including a 5-inch bore and 4-and-a-half-inch stroke, which collectively weighed 190 pounds. What engine does your car have? Comment below.